have a compass right here. Yeah. yeah. And you want the box to point north. Yeah. Why? I expected this difficult question I from did, you. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so I took something with me in order to explain it to you. All right. And that's an orange. An orange. You know? And this orange functions as the sun now. Okay. Yeah. Now, where does the sun come up in the morning? That's in the east. And you can see that the opening is east-west. So I allow the sun to enter all the light into the opening in order to give the trees as much light as possible. All right. Yeah. yeah. And then during the day, the sun is going like that. And here it's in the south. Okay. And now the sun makes automatically a shadow and both plants are protected. So on the two coolest parts of the day, we allow the sun to give more light into the opening. And on the hottest part of the day, we actually give a shadow. And now we take the box off and we're going to make the hole in order to plant the two trees. How deep you want it to be? Yeah, like this. In order to prevent evaporation, we put this paperboard on the ground. Okay. You see? So you keep the soil wet. Peter, what I don't understand is why are we planting two trees? It might happen that if you plant one tree, that after one year, this one tree, let's say a certain percentage, doesn't survive. So suppose you plant two small trees, and if one of those two dies, you still have one. You still have the other one, okay. Exactly which means that you almost bring your result to 100%. If you look in the bottom, there's a small hole here. You yes. see that? And we put a wick in that small hole. Like that? Yes, exactly. Like that. Perfect. All right. And the plate keeps the water in the box so that it cannot evaporate anymore. Okay. Uh, this means that you more kind of create a water battery. And with that water battery, you have enough water for the whole year. For the whole year? Yeah. And you know why? Because this wick is dividing the water over 365 days, even if it falls in one day. Then we're going to the next thing, and that's what we call the cap All right. and the siphons. So here's the cap. It's all right. Yeah. Do you know why we have that cap? I have no clue. No. I will explain you. Suppose uh, you have uh, problems that there's never any rain at all. Yes. Then you can use it as a refill. So, right. so just for security reasons. That's actually why we do that. So every morning you have condensation. Yes. And the condensation comes into these openings. Yes. But if they are just an opening, it would evaporate during the day. Yeah. Because the box gets warm. This siphon prevents the water, once it gets into the box, from evaporating. But there's one thing that something sometimes might happen. Suppose you're in an area with a lot of wind. Yes. Yeah. And for that reason we have some wind protector. It's so easy. Just like that? Yeah. Now the trick is we need about 15 liters to fill the box, but let's say three or four liters in the middle of the box, because we want to give those trees a head start. Fantastic. That's it. Now we've filled the box. All right. And actually, now the job is done. Okay, I just got one more question. Yes. What happens with the box when the plants start growing? Okay, well, after one year, those trees are about that high. All right. You know, when the tree is one meter, the roots are already two meters deep which means this tree can live without this box. So what we actually do it is just lift the box so that the trees are there on their own. So Jade, it's very simple. I've explained everything. You see now that you can plant on rocks, in deserts, everywhere. Great, I just planted my first trees. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> good. It's, it's so, so easy. easy.